Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. All right, so so as you already know, if you've been watching any of my other videos, I've been on a quest trying to find the best notification app for Android. Uh, so of course, iOS has the Home Assistant app, which is perfect. I mean, it is awesome. Actionable notifications. Everything about the iOS Home Assistant app is great. I wish they had one for Android. But since they don't, since they don't, I've been looking for the best app that I could find that would be close enough to the iOS app that notifications would work almost as good on Android. It's probably a pipe dream, but I'm going to look for it anyway. So let's see what all we've covered. We've gone over Telegram. We tried that one. Didn't really like it. Don't like the fact that uh, the pictures come in as a link. Um, so that part kind of shut it down for me. I want to be able to click on the uh, notification and the image be right there in the notification. We also tried Push Bullet, which I really like the way Push Bullet looks, but I think it's limited on the number of notifications you can receive in a given month. If you want to use Push Bullet for your main notification app, then you probably won't be able to use it uh, without having to pay for an additional number of uh, notifications. We also use uh, Gmail for SMS notifications, and for me, that's probably the closest thing you can get right now. Um, it's not a true notification app. Obviously, you're just sending emails to text messages, but you can send the images. They'll show up in the notification, so that may be the best option. So that brings me to the latest that we're trying. Uh, this was mentioned by one of my followers, so I thought I'd give it a shot, and that is Pushover. It's already got two strikes against it, and let me tell you why. When you download the Pushover app, you're only downloading a trial. If you want to use Pushover regularly, you're going to have to pay for the app, which I think is five bucks. Now this will give you 7,500 notifications a month, but I still don't like the fact that you have to pay for the app whenever I can use some of the other ones and they don't cost anything. Nonetheless, let's go through what we're doing for this video for how to set up push notifications for Home Assistant. So we're going to start by creating a Pushover account and then we have to get an API key and a user key. You'll use these in your Home Assistant configuration. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and add the pushover component into Home Assistant. And then third, we're going to create a test script that we can use to test out the notification and see what that looks like. And then, of course, lastly, we're going to see it in action. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start at pushover.net. I'll put the link in the description, but it's pretty easy. Pushover.net, you go here. If you don't already have an account, you're going to create one. It's free. So we'll go through here. I'm going to sign up for a Pushover account. It's going to want it's going to send you an email to verify your account. Go ahead and hit sign up down at the bottom here. And then of course, as you can see over there on the right, that is your user key. Copy, paste it, save it for later because you're going to need it for your Home Assistant configuration. But we still need an API key, so we're going to do that down at the bottom where it says Your Applications. We're going to click on Create an Application API Token. Alright, so we'll go here, we're going to give it a name, just call it Has, doesn't really matter. Type of course will be application. So hit the little drop down and you should be able to uh, choose application. And for the rest of it, I think you can kind of just fill whatever you want. Make sure you hit the check box down towards the bottom. But I think the rest of it's just kind of for your benefit. Once you hit the check box, go ahead and hit create application. And there is our API key. Again, copy, paste it, save it for later. Because you're going to need that for your Home Assistant configuration as well. All right, so now that we've got all that together, let's go ahead and move over to the uh, Home Assistant CLI.
All right, so this is a notify component. So I have all mine in the notify.yaml file. So I'm gonna do a sudo vi notify.yaml and I'll just add it down here at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna call it pushover. You can call it whatever you want. Platform, of course, is pushover. See the name, I'm just gonna say pushover. And this is where we're gonna put that API key and the user key that we copied earlier. So since I'm using, of course, my secrets.yaml file, I'm just going to add in two entries for that. Uh, push over API. Push over underscore user. Once we have the notify.yaml finished, now we can move over and create our test script. So I'm going to edit my test scripts at YAML file where I have all my test scripts here. And we're just going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'll create a new test script. We'll call it test underscore pushover. Alias, we'll just give it the same name, test underscore pushover. Uh, sequence. Service will be our notify component that we just added, so that's uh, notify.pushover. Title. We're just going to say test alert. Message. I'm going to say this is a test message. And because I always like to send uh, images with my alerts and notifications, I'm going to add a, uh, an image down here for the bottom. It's the same one I always use, so we'll just put a URL, and then I'm going to paste in from up above. And again, I'll have all this in the description, so y'all can copy it and paste it and play around with it and uh, see what you think. All right, so now that we have that saved, let's go ahead and restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. So we'll do a sudo systemctl restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so let's see it in action. So on the right, of course, I have my home assistant front end. On the left, I have my phone, which is running the um, pushover app. So let's send a test notification. We're gonna hit the activate button next to test underscore pushover. And there it is. Test alert, this is a test message. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't have the image in the notification. So you can say open URL, it will open the image, but in the notification itself doesn't have the image. Not my favorite. Don't like that as much. I really wish that it did. Probably not a bad app. Don't like the fact that you have to pay $5 for it. So a little disappointing for Pushover for me. You guys may like it. A lot of people use Pushover, especially if you're in some sort of uh, tech support field and stuff for, uh, you know, um, on-call support. I know Pushover has a lot of other features. But for me, what I'm looking for in a notification app for Home Assistant, I don't think it works for me. 
let's go ahead and run down the list of um, what we did in this video. We created our free pushover account and got our API user keys that we needed to set up the Home Assistant uh, Notify component. Then we added the uh, Notify component into Home Assistant. Of course, then we created a test script that we used to test out the notification with. And of course, lastly, I kind of showed you what that looked like in action. That is the end of this video, guys. Again, still not my favorite notification app. I'm still on a quest for the best notification app for Android. Guys, please send me your thoughts. Let me know what uh, apps y'all are using and stuff for Home Assistant uh, notifications on Android. I'm really looking for one that, like I said, I want it to be kind of close to iOS's uh, Home Assistant app. I know it won't have actionable push notifications or anything like that, but I still think it'd be nice to be able to have an image pop up in the notification, uh, you know, something like that. Uh, nonetheless, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, problems, hit me up in the comments below. And then also, if there are any other videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, again, let me know in the comments and I'll get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.